greater good is about answering the call, the call to put on the uniform and assume a heavier responsibility. That's what the greater good is to me. Hi, my name is Derek Chu. I'm a senior paramedic officer from SCDF. I've been a paramedic officer for the last 23 years. I'm married with three lovely children and my beautiful wife. My eldest is serving his full-time national service in the Singapore Civil Defence Force as a frontline emergency medical technician. My second son is training in the Singapore Armed Forces and serving his full-time national service. And my daughter is taking her O levels this year. When my kids were younger, I used to coach them in their studies. The tables are turned now. They are the ones coaching me in my studies now, especially in the subjects that uh, they are more profound in, especially in chemistry, calculus and statistics. And we had a hilarious time talking about this whenever over dinner on how tough they had a time in teaching me. So to all the parents, I guess they realize that it's not easy teaching the kids, especially during these tough times. I guess the major challenge to me was the last time I completed my academic studies was in 1998 in a local polytechnic. And to go back into studying in the academic world is very, very challenging. And to do it part-time is even a much heavier responsibility. As well as I'm a fully sponsored student from SCDF, um, I guess the greater motivation in me plays a more heavy responsibility to excel in this study. And I guess that is the part that really tied me down, especially over the last two years, where I hardly had any time for revision for examinations. These two years have been very trying for me, especially uh, I was involved in COVID response and planning the emergency medical response. With this COVID-19 pandemic, I spent many hours every day working and hardly had any time for revision at night. My colleagues and supervisors were very understanding and they always motivated me, encouraged me to move on and always offered a helping hand whenever they saw me struggling at work. That inspired me to push on, persevere on and build resilience to complete this journey. The greater reward for me was that I could put these skill sets into good use, evidence in the design of the medical support vehicle that I helped SCDF to design from scratch, and to see it operationally in the field right now, where it responds to a mass casualty incident or a national disaster and all major standbys, that gives me a very great sense of accomplishment from the studies. One word to describe my journey in SUSS will be solidarity, where everybody come together as one. So it's a collective spirit from my workplace in SCDF, from my family members, as well as the Professor Hui from SUSS and Yong Ling, who's my administrator. They never failed to encourage me and always lend a helping hand whenever I'm needed. Brought me into the final journey through the finishing line. From the skills and knowledge from this study, I would like to develop and better innovate biomedical equipment for the emergency medical services to achieve uh, the objective of a better patient outcome. And I probably want to tell everybody out there, there is uh, no age limit to continuous lifelong learning. As long as you put your heart and soul into it, with good support from your colleagues, your workplace and your family, we will be able to achieve the academic journey together. So never give up, persevere on. Good. Make your mark for a greater good.